Okay, today I'm going to be removing the spark plugs out of my uh, Honda Pilot so that I can uh, do an engine compression test uh, following the timing belt failure. Uh, what I'm going to be using uh, 6mm Allen key, a 5 8 inch uh, spark plug socket. We got three spark plugs in the front. I've removed the first one already uh, to speed up the video a little bit uh, here number two and number three. There's three a little bit harder to see in the back. One, two, and three. Um, they're a little harder to reach, but they're not too inaccessible. Uh, to remove the coils, there's a, a bolt holding them in, which is a six millimeter Allen key. Uh, to access that, there's an electrical uh, connection so you just have to uh, remove the clip and pull the ele electrical connector off and there's the coil itself. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, the bolt that's holding the coil in place which is a six millimeter allen key. Remove the electrical connector. And remove the coil. Now we're going to use our socket. And we'll remove the spark plug. And that's a ZFR 5F GP. NGK spark plug. And we're now going to carry on doing the same thing with the remainder of the spark plugs. If you're having trouble getting the plug out, uh, a small magnet like this one might be able to uh, help you out. Might be hard to see, but these plugs are definitely pretty fouled. For the plugs in the rear, it's a little more difficult to get at. Uh, basically, I get right into the engine bay, but they're not too bad. So here's the six spark plugs and six coils. Now all that I need to do is go get the compression tester and uh, test the compression on each cylinder. Here's the compression tester gauge set uh, that I was able to borrow from a local parts source. Uh, of note, I've uh, removed the fuse uh, for the ignition system uh, prior to starting. Unfortunately, uh, you're supposed to do this test with the engine uh, already at operating temperature. I do not have that luxury uh, due to my timing belt failure, but I am going to try it uh, as is and see what my results are. First thing we're going to do is uh, thread the the hose of the um, gauge into the uh, spark plug uh, well, and uh, then we're going to hook up the uh, the gauge. This is just done uh, hand tight. Once it's uh, threaded to into the uh, spark plug well. Uh, you just attach the gauge with the uh, air hose coupling. Now we're going to attempt to start the engine and see what pressure it registers. Uh, so the first test uh, registers 120 psi. 
So I've put some uh, duct tape on the, the top of the engine here and I'm just going to record uh, the, the pressure in each cylinder. I'm now going to move on to the next one. So there's a, uh, a major outlier on uh, cylinder six, obviously with uh, zero PSI, and you can actually hear that uh, when it was being turned over that it lacked uh, any pressure. Um, cylinder three is pretty low as well at 70, but I'm significantly less concerned about that. I'm actually gonna do this again. Um, however, I'm gonna add oil um, about a, a teaspoon uh, into the cylinder um, number six and, and see what the, the pressure reading is after I do that. And once again, zero PSI. So there are all the results. Um, so five of the six cylinders are pretty good. Um, this cylinder, cylinder six, is not very good. Um, I ran the test cold, uh, cold with a small amount of oil in the cylinder, and then I ran the entire thing again hot. Um, every other cylinder is in the sort of 140 to 170 range um, however cylinder six um, it's sitting at about 80 so uh, with the the poor results for uh, cylinder six I'll likely have to go and uh, get a leak down test kit so I could do a leak down test on that cylinder uh, and see what the issue is and uh, see where I need to go from there thanks for watching